to show everything that's going on. This is Anthony Gucciardi, and we hear Alex Jones is speaking live at this rally for JFK Truth in Dallas, fight against the attack on the First Amendment. We're going to go over, because I see some officers standing over there, show them. We're going to ask them what they think of the First Amendment, if they're going to confiscate signs tomorrow. So, yeah, we have to walk on the crosswalk, or else they may arrest us and beat us to a pulp. Because the reality is, they're now saying you can't even have signs during the JFK Memorial. Not like these signs. Yeah, like these signs that are highly illegal thought crime. Very illegal. Thought criminals! Thought criminals! So let's see if we can legally cross this uh, crosswalk without getting arrested. Here. On Google Maps. How's it going today, guys? It's going great. What, do you, what uh, affiliation are you with? I'm with the police department. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And, and you're, this is actually part of the street, so we're making sure people get all the meetings. Oh, okay. Yeah, could you, we just want to ask you something. Yeah, what do you guys yeah, think you step, about this? You step yeah, sure. You're going to come with me? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Let's go, guys. Absolutely. Let's go. Absolutely. Let's get first. Awesome. So, you know, one of the things I'm concerned about. And is that they're saying that you can't even have signs during the JFK Memorial where you could get them taken down or arrested. Is that true? I, I haven't heard anything of the sort. Well, that's good. I heard the mayor said, though, that you can't even have cameras filming downtown at the memorial area. He hasn't told me that. I mean, well, that's, that's good. So that's you guys. Rule, I don't know that. So if I come down with a sign, you're not going to arrest me? I wouldn't arrest you unless you have a sign within 75 feet of a freeway or service road. Okay. You can't, you can't have a no, sign within 75 feet of a service road or freeway. Oh, is so it service everyone, road? Yes. So, so everyone, everyone who right has here. a sign right here is in violation of the city. They're rights. in violation. So, Are you going to arrest them? Um, not at this point. I'm not. I'm going to warn first. You're going to warn them. I, I like to give people a chance to comply. Well, well I, I mean, then my, after well, that. Right, right. It's, well, it's, that's actually nice of you to do that instead of just beating them up and arresting right, them. I, I appreciate that. My thing is, my thing is, is that not the First Amendment? Well, I'm not going to debate with you the amendment. I'm, I'm only here to enforce you have to, get close. to inform about the city ordinances. Okay. I'm not here to debate the amendment. It's an ordinance. That's what I'm here to inform about. Well, I just want to show all of these all of these criminals right now with signs are violating city ordinances. What's the, what's the fee for that? What's the penalty for that? Um, up to a $500 fine is what well a violation of any city ordinance is. The judge sets the fine. We don't set the fine. Wow. So... You could, could you arrest every single person here now for having a sign? They could receive a ticket for having a sign within 75 feet. We measure within off first and we let you know where the 75 feet is. We don't want people wrecking into each other as they go down trying to read people's signs. Sure, 75 feet though, isn't that, you know, It's pretty, it's that's not a lot. very far. Oh, no, it's so kind of far though. I no, mean, no, because 75, 75 feet, feet starts from that curb line. Yeah. So we're probably close to 75 feet right here. Oh, so if we were standing... We're, a I millimeter will, I will over. For you, if you'd like for me to measure. No, but I mean, if we're standing here with a sign, that's okay. But here, well, here no, I, not. oh no, I, I would measure for you if you'd, you'd like measure. to know where you can stand. I'm I mean, maybe, to, maybe are you, we should. Are you asking me to measure for you? I mean, maybe we should measure. I don't I'm, know. I'm happy to measure for you, but for now, I've got to talk to those that are leafleting. You, you can't leaflet. Okay, cars let's go talk to them. Let's go. Them. Let's go talk to well, the, the, actually, the criminals. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do my work. Okay. So you go ahead and do yours. No, I'm just but interested. I've got to start down here. Do you guys? And you're think, welcome to come. I would love to come with you. I'd love to come with you. Do you think that these people are criminals, sir? For having a sign. No? Peaceful protest. That's good. I appreciate that. All right, let's go. So, hold on a second. So, city ordinance says that you can't have a sign 75 feet from a road. So, everyone here, show everyone, they're all thought criminals who should receive $500 fines and could potentially be arrested. So, if you dare to have a First Amendment, you are, once again, a thought criminal. And it is actually true. The mayor said if you have a sign or if you dare to say anything, that goes against the official story on the JFK Memorial Day, you could, you know, face fines or be arrested or be removed. So I'm going to go in with a sign and see what happens. It appears though that already having a sign now before everything is illegal. So let's let's go follow these thought criminals getting prosecuted. Here. 